difference. Environment <laughs> and exposure is so much of a key, right? So even right now, I got 6,000 square feet. But when I saw what Chad got, I was like, yep, I'm going bigger. Mm -hmm. But I already knew I was going bigger, but I had not I had no idea what it looked like. Mm. And then when Chad told me, I about grew this already, I'm like, bro, you, even, you just got in here. And then he told me, I'm building for where I'm going, not where I'm at. I was like, bro, what? It was an epiphany for mm -hmm. me. Well, what happens is, the one thing I can say about, the great thing about social media is, it does give you a window to where you can be. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's you feel true. me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, for me, I'm not an excuse maker, but I do understand reality. So I do feel like social media does give us a window to, one, the possibilities, and two, we can have a window of where we want to go at. You're right. You know what I'm saying? You, I was watching one of your episodes, right? Thank and, you for watching, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I, 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 I do my job, bro. bro. Yeah, like, thank you for watching. You be like, yo, you know this? How you know this, bro? I do my job. Thank you anyway, for watching, bro. Whatever, man. so, <laughs> yo, it's crazy that you said that because the one thing I wrote this down that stood out to me and I thought it was dope and you you caught yourself and I was mad you catch yourself, but I'm going to go into it, right? You were talking about uh, Charlie Munger, right? Yeah. Rest in peace. Come on. And you were talking about how you heard things mm -hmm. or how he said things to mm -hmm. you and you're like, wait, I, I never met this man. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, I don't do that. Don't yeah, do that. Because yeah, in my yeah, mind, yeah. I'm like, it's great because yeah. it shows you the power of reading. It shows yeah. you the power of social media because you're like, man... He taught me. Yeah. He taught me. He yeah. taught me. And I'm like, wait, you, I don't even know this you dude. You never even yeah. met this man. So like, that, so the fact that you said that, like, nah, you are right. So as much as as bad as I want to feel for my people, it's like, nah, there's really no excuses because yeah. we do have access to the yeah. information. So when you said that, I'm like, yo, I'm like, damn, like that really opened my yeah. eyes. Like, we sleeping on the information that we yeah. do have, and it's because again, environment. So what happens is what we what we don't realize is that environment. I said this before. Environment does a few things for us. Environment sets the standard. Environment enforces the standard. And the environment rewards the standard. Mm. Right? So think about it like this. We're going we're gonna to talk about two different case scenarios. So let's say you grew up in, grew up in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Right? The standard for that for a black man, probably coming up in the hood, probably a certain type of car. It's not even about home ownership. Mm. Certain type of car, you dress a certain way. I was about to say, a certain type and of as, sneakers. And as, a, and as a man, drill talk, it's there's a number of females that you deal with that gives you that, oh, he get the, he get them. Mm -hmm. So that's a standard. And then once you accomplish those things, the environment enforces that, like, yup, this the standard. Look at Jay. Jay did this. He got, he fresh, he got that on. Mm -hmm. He got the whip and he got, got some hoes. Such and such, such and such, such and such. It, that's just so a fact. the environment set the standard, it enforced the standard, and then it rewarded the standard because now, because you had all three, guess what you get now? You get more women. Mm. You get more dudes that's like, you get more of that, you the man. So now the environment did that. Now let's change that. Mm. Let's come up with a wealthy environment. So let's say you got this, this, this guy, he's a business owner, he wealthy. So now the standard for them is, yo, you have to graduate high school with this type of grade. You got to go to college and do this. You have to get this type of job or start this type of business. And if you don't do that, yo, you're a failure. Mm. So now what's the standard? The yeah. environment doesn't set that standard. Now the Johnsons and the this is the Williamses and the sudden and such, their kids are doctors and lawyers and they work on Wall Street. So now the pressure is my kids, okay, there's a new standard now. Mm -hmm. Right? So environment sets the standard, rewards the standard, reinforces the standard. Why did you so when you hear people say this, and I, this is I love this, when you he when you hear people say, yo, I need to move out my city to go to another city, in actuality, what we saying to ourselves is, yo, we need new standards. Mm. I need new standards. I need, I need, I, I needed to come to Atlanta. Why? Atlanta gave me new standards from New Orleans. <laughs> it gave me new standards. Why? Because I can see dudes in my it's not saying that those standards don't exist in certain. One of the things I did when I came to the A, bro, and I told my dog, I told Fly this last night. I said, bro, when I first moved to the A, I wasn't trying to go live in the hood, dog. 
I wasn't trying to go nothing against Summer Hill. I wasn't trying to go live in the bluff. I wasn't going trying to live in Summer Hill. I wasn't going trying to live in the zoo. Bro, I'm from New Orleans, bro. I'm from the hood. I don't need to come here and do that. I'm trying to go live in somebody high rise come somewhere, on. bro. Come on. I done did that already. I don't want to be a gangster in Atlanta, bro. I'm straight. They got enough for them. I left New Orleans. I'm, bro, I'm trying to be where, what we be doing? So, boom, what was the standard? Now, all right, bro, do, bro, do got the high rise and mm -hmm. they got the, okay, this who we, okay, we got a new standard. That's so here. fact. We I got said, a new I standard. Said this, I said, babe, I said, babe, we want to stay, we're going to do the high rise for a year. We end up doing it for two, but it still, it was like, man, it's a new standard. we got to at least do it. We got a new standard. It's different. So, we set a new standard. Now, for <laughs> people going to be like, that ain't it, but it was a difference from I live next door. This a trap house right here. This a bando right here. This now nah, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. So when you 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 leave your environment because the old standard has wore you down, mm. and you like yo, I just need a new standard. Because one thing we will do is if we get a new environment, we'll live up to the standard in that environment mm -hmm. automatically. Mm -hmm. like, look, I'm here, and, and now here's what happens: when you hear somebody move from one city to another city, they brag on a new city they in because there's a new set of standards for them. Mm. They done released the old standards. They came to the new city. They embraced the culture, whatever they're around. And now that's the standard mm -hmm. until you get them the environment. Now, here's what happens. You come to Atlanta or you go to another city. And then what happens when you meet people that's doing something different? you like, damn. Dude, did a, he, a, he, a million? he did a million in a day? What the f*** I'm not doing? You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? So my standard kind of changed. Like, damn, wait. A million in a day? Mm-hmm. What? I'm doing something wrong, man. What's going on? All right. So this is, okay, this is, this is what we doing right here? I bet. You know what I'm saying? So you start to change that. Mm -hmm. um, and that helps you evolve. So for me, again, my thing, and I'll just be honest with you, my, my goal is not to be the best podcaster, right? So I tell my team, you can't even call our show a pod. We got a show. And our goal is to be better than CNBC. So how do we create a team that mimics that machine but talks to our people? Because I know one thing. They will never, ever, ever talk to us because we not their clientele. But guess what? I can. So how do we create shows? How do we create content? How do we create media? How do we get ad representation that helps us build that machine up? Mm. And that'll put me here for 20 years. That's a new standard. 